Hello! Today is our last day doing our Room on the Broom activities. So this is your last job to do with Room on the Broom. Now it's probably the most exciting job because this is a chance for you to be an author. Can you remember we said authors are people who write stories? So this is your chance to write your very own Room on the Broom story. For today's activity, I would like you to have a think about where the witch and her broom go next. This story tells us all about their adventures with the dragon, but you need to think about their next adventure. Where do they go? What do they do? Do they meet any new characters? You've got a story map to help show what happens next for all the characters in Room on the Broom. This first box is the beginning box. This is where your story starts. So you need to have a think about where do you want your story to start? Is your story going to start in a forest or a bog or on the beach? It's up to you. You can decide where your story starts. So I'm going to draw a picture to show where my story starts. And then to remind me, I'm going to write a sentence explaining where my story is starting. I've decided to start my story at a castle. So I'm drawing a picture of a castle to remind me. I'm then going to write a sentence underneath saying, they find an old castle on a hill. I've used an adjective to describe what the castle is like to make my sentence even better and even more detailed. Pause the video here and draw a picture of the first part of your story. Then write your sentence. The next box is what happens first. So think about where your characters are. What happens first? I think I'm going to decide that the witch is going to meet a brand new character. So I'm going to think about a brand new character for her to meet. I have decided that I would like the witch to meet a new character and that new character is a knight from the castle. Now the knight is very sad and he tells the witch he is sad because he's lost his most favourite teddy bear. Now I'm writing my sentence. She meets the knight. He is sad. What might your sentence be? Pause the video here and have a go at filling out the next box. What happens in your story? Remember to write your sentence. We then need to move on to this box down here. And this is another middle box. It says, then what happened? I've decided in the next part of my story, the witch helps the knight look for his favourite teddy bear. And she finds the teddy bear stuck up a tree. So I've drawn a picture of a teddy bear in a tree to show that part. Now I'm writing my sentence. She finds the teddy bear in a tree. Now it's your turn. What happens next in your story? Draw a picture and then write your sentence. We're then going to think about the end of our story. How does our story finish? What happens last? At the end of my story, the witch reunites the knight with his favourite teddy bear. He is so grateful and to say thank you, he gives her a big chest filled with gold coins. Pause the video and do the last box. How does your story finish? Draw your picture and then write your sentence. You should then have a whole story map for the next part of Room on the Broom. You have been a super author and thought of your own ideas. I can't wait to see all your different stories. I'm very excited to read them.